In the effort to roll back the hands of time, great progress can be made in some areas, while other areas eh, can be a little bit more problematic. And one of those problem areas can be erectile dysfunction, to the point where a little pharmaceutical assistance is not bad. But at prices that range from $50 to $100 per pill for Viagra or Cialis, it can be really difficult to afford. Well, today I'm going to explore some ways to cut costs on those medications to the point where they're affordable for just about anyone. And I'm talking less than 50 cents a pill. If you want to slow or even reverse the aging process, if you want to turn back the clock on aging, then hit that subscribe button below and subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this channel or suggest topics that you'd like me to do a video on. Hit the like button and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Here's the hard, cold truth. As we men grow older and older, the risk that we'll suffer from ED just gets higher and higher. In the United States today, most men are forced to pay for any ED medications out of pocket because most insurance plans don't cover these meds. If they do, they usually only cover four doses a month and drugs like Viagra, Cialis and Levitra can be really expensive. I recently did a search on the web for the cost of ED meds and the results vary quite a bit. But on average, without insurance, the costs range between 50 and $100 per pill. Today, we're going to be looking at a variety of strategies to bring those costs way, way down, all the way down to under 50 cents per pill. So here's the thing. I'm now over 70 years old and my ability to sport a Woody has slowly declined over the last two or three decades. Now, I've done everything that I can to restore my equipment to factory specs, but I've had less and less success as the years have piled up. Now, I boosted my testosterone levels. I do an exercise designed to raise my production of nitric oxide, which is critical for erections, but I've had limited success. So, like a lot of other guys my age, I've turned to medications to help me out. Stuff like Viagra and Cialis, but those medications are expensive and they've gotten ridiculously so over the last several years, to the point where, quite honestly, I can no longer afford them. Now, I live in Portland, Oregon, and there's a pharmacy just down the street that's really convenient for me. But that pharmacy charges $66 for a single pill of Viagra, and Cialis can cost up to $100 for a single pill. So, I've been looking for a cheaper alternative. Not an alternative drug, but a way to get the same drugs for a lot less. Because, let's face it, I know that the pharmaceutical companies are greedy bastards, and they're just trying to gouge me and you for as much as they can. I've been convinced for a long time that the research, manufacturing, packaging, and branding costs of the drugs in no way justifies the outrageous costs that the drug companies are trying to charge us. Now, I did an earlier video on the cures for erectile dysfunction, and you can check them out by clicking on the card up here or on the link in the description below. Now, in that video, I talk about what the most popular ED medications are and how they work. Viagra and Levitra are both very similar. They both take about an hour to kick in and they can last for about six to eight hours. Now, Cialis is a little different. It can take about two hours to take effect, but it can last for up to 36 hours. So if you're looking for something that you can take more or less spontaneously, that's relatively fast acting, then Viagra or Levitra is what you're looking for. But if you're planning a romantic weekend where you've got more time to plan for it and you want it to last for a couple of nights, then Cialis is what you want. But at $100 a pop, that weekend suddenly gets a little spendy. So what are you gonna do? If you're like me, you start looking for a bargain, but be careful. Pfizer, the company that produces Viagra, did a study of online websites offering Viagra at a discount. And they discovered that over 80% of these websites were selling counterfeit Viagra that contained either useless ingredients or ingredients that were actually toxic. So the way I see it, you got a few different options. First, you can go to your doctor and get a prescription for one of these ED meds. Take it to a pharmacy and pay the full price for your meds. But for a lot of us, that's not really a very good option. 
A better strategy is to get your doctor to write a prescription for the generic form of the drugs. All of these drugs have been around long enough that there are generic forms of the drugs available. The generic form of Viagra is called Sildenafil. For Levitra, it's called Vardenafil. And for Cialis, you've got Tadalafil. And the generic drugs are always going to be cheaper than the branded drugs. There's an online company called Roman that bills itself as a digital health clinic for men. Now, you don't need a prescription. They've got doctors working for them that will prescribe you the drugs. Now, on Roman, Viagra costs $34 a pill and Cialis costs $44 a pill. But Sildenafil, the generic form of Viagra, only costs $6 a pill. So that's quite a bit better than the pharmacy. Now, unfortunately, at this time, they don't offer Tadalafil, the generic equivalent of Cialis. Another strategy is to try an offshore pharmacy. You'll still need a prescription from your doctor, but anywhere outside of the US, the meds will cost a lot less. In fact, in Great Britain, you don't even need a prescription. You can buy them over the counter. Now, prices vary depending on the size dose that you buy and how many pills you get at a time. So to make sure that we're comparing apples to apples, I've looked at the highest doses and the largest and cheapest amounts that you can purchase. And I've priced them on a per pill basis. So for Viagra or Sildenafil, that's a 100 milligram dose and 90 pills. For Cialis or Tadalafil, that's a 20 milligram dose and 90 pills. Now, although I also did research on Levitra and Vardenafil, I couldn't find very good discounts on, uh, on, on those. So I'm gonna take that one out of the mix. If you do decide to go with the offshore pharmacy route and you get your meds from Canada, Viagra will cost you between $8 and $13 for a single 100 milligram pill. And Cialis is between 13 and 17 for a 20 milligram pill. Now that's a lot better than 65 and $100. But if you decide to go with the generic brands instead, you can save even more. Sildenafil, the generic form of Viagra, will cost around $1.60 a pill, and Tadalafil, the Cialis equivalent, is around two bucks. That's not bad. But we can do even better. There's another company called GoodRx, and they offer coupons that you can give to your pharmacist for a discount. They even have an app for your phone that will download these coupons, and these coupons are free. Now, you can use GoodRx for any prescription, not just for ED meds. Again, the price will vary depending on what pharmacy you use, but here in Portland, I found Sildenafil, the generic form of Viagra, in the 100 milligram dose for 46 cents per pill, 46 cents. And I found Tadalafil for 59 cents for a 20 milligram pill. And that's at the same pharmacy down the street that I mentioned previously. That's a savings of approximately 99.3% over the normal pharmacy price. That's $43 for a 90 pill supply that will normally cost you almost 6,000 bucks. Now, there is a way to get it even cheaper than that, but I don't necessarily recommend it. And that's buying your meds from China. Now, I've seen them as cheap as two cents per dose. That means buying 100 grams and portioning it out yourself. At 20 milligrams a dose for Tadalafil, that's about 5,000 doses, probably more than you'll need in a lifetime. You've also got a question now about purity, and some of the Chinese supplies are counterfeit, so buyer beware. Okay, here's the results that I found. Now, this search took me a few days to conduct, and the results were all over the map. And there's a few caveats. So first, I did this search in Portland, in fact, in my own zip code. I could have done the search in other zip codes in Portland or even in other parts of the country, but that would have given me much more varied results. And the point of this is just to show you guys the kind of results that I found, not to provide you with definitive pricing. Next, I'm just showing the lowest prices that I could find because that's what this video is about and that's what I think you guys are interested in. There were a lot of prices that were way more expensive. And it's entirely possible that when you guys do your own search, that you might find prices that are even cheaper, even in Portland. Now, for some of the results, you'll notice that I have NA, not applicable. Roman uh, doesn't offer either Levitra or Vardenafil, and they don't offer the generic form of Cialis. GoodRx only offers coupons for the generic forms, and the same is true for sources from China. So the clear winners are both Sildenafil and Tadalafil. 
the generic forms of Viagra and Cialis from GoodRx. Now, oddly enough, I couldn't find similarly cheap prices for Levitra or Verdenafil on GoodRx. The cheapest price I could find was purchasing it offshore from a Canadian pharmacy. Now, even though it's cheaper, I didn't pick sourcing from China as the cheapest because I can't vouch for the quality or the purity. But here's the thing. If you can regularly purchase erectile dysfunction medications in the US for as little as 46 cents per pill to say nothing for China's prices, then what in the hell are the pharmaceutical companies doing charging 65 to $100 per pill? I mean, how greedy can you get? You know, I've been outraged at the cost for ED meds for a long time, mostly because they were priced so high that I couldn't afford them. And that pissed me off. In doing the research for this video, I was amazed by what I found. And I couldn't believe that I didn't know about this much sooner. Now, I'm sure that for a lot of you, this information in the video will come as no surprise. But for those of you who are like me, I hope this will bring a ray of hope where it seemed hopeless before. Okay, so that's the rundown on ED meds and their costs. In spite of the greed of pharmaceutical companies, it is possible to get meds at a price that's absolutely affordable for almost all men. If you enjoyed this video and would like more, then seriously, think about hitting that subscribe button and subscribing to this channel. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in a couple weeks.